Hi, I'm Colonel Ken Reiser, and this is the Reiser Report. Our subject today is K-12 funding. Did you know that K-12 funding is the largest part of Iowa's $7.2 billion budget? As you can see from this chart, state aid to schools makes up 42% of the state's budget. With the state of Iowa spending about $3 billion on K-12, education is obviously our state's top priority. Some claim that education funding has been cut or is decreasing. That's simply not true. As you can see from this graph, K-12 spending has been steadily increasing over the last nine years. In the last five years alone, under Governor Branstad and Republican control of the Iowa House, spending on K-12 has increased $506 million. According to Iowa's Department of Education, the number of full-time teachers in Iowa classrooms has increased by 809 in the last four years. During the previous four years of Democrat control, the number of full-time teachers actually decreased by 907. Iowa House Republicans have proposed spending $81 million in an increase to K-12 next year. Along with the $53 million we've proposed for the teacher leadership program, that represents 84% of all the new available revenue in the budget. That's more than enough to give every teacher in the state of Iowa a 1% to 2% salary increase above the inflation rate and have enough left over to hire more teachers so that we have smaller class sizes. Some think that's still not enough and they want to bust the bank for education. We can't spend more than we take in, just as Iowa families must live within their means so must the state of Iowa. Tune in next week to episode two when we'll be talking about funding education within our means. This is Ken Reiser. Thanks for watching.